Hello guys, this is Richard Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But if we will start a devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following for your channel. Nagpunta rito at nag-join sa devotional natin the other night. Shout out and God bless to Bon Anthony Balmoria, Molik Salamada, Diane Spakadalhin, Seisha Love, Jocelyn Custodio, Connie Vlog, Pamilya Lagan Channel, Retro Vlog, Psyche, Karyon, at sa mga manunood pa na hindi sumabay sa panunood ng premiere. God bless us all guys. Praise God, wala na talaga ang bagyo. Napakita na si Haring Araw, but still, ingat-ingat pa rin tayo kasi hindi natin alam yung sitwasyon natin, no? Yung sa ibang bansa, grabe ang heatwave. Dito naman sa atin, is grabe yung mga bagyo at mga lindol, mga sakuna. Let's be careful, guys. Extra careful talaga. Okay, let's now proceed to our devotion. Now, let's open our Bible to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 8 to 20. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because... The words you see are simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in Ephesians 5, chapter 8 to 20 says, For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for the fruit of light consists in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord. Have nothing to do with uh, fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. For it is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible. For it is light that makes everything visible. This is why it is said, Wake up, O sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine you on you. Be very careful then how you live not as unwise but as wise making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil therefore do not be foolish but understand what the lord's will is do not get drunk of wine which leads to debauchery instead be filled with the holy spirit speak to one another with psalms hymns and spiritual songs sing and make music in your heart to the lord Always giving thanks to God, the Father, for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. Okay, guys, let's now pray. Yes, Father God, we're so sorry that still at this time, oh God, we succumb to sins in any way, oh God. Makasalanan na nakikita namin, naririnig, sinasabi, ginagawa, and even the sins we have in our mind. Lord, forgive us, O oh God, but instead teach us to live as wise, not as unwise, O oh God, because this is the very requirement you have for us. Lord, especially that we are now living in the last days, O oh God. Lord, lead us, lead us that we will also become an example for people to follow. Lord, thank you that we can commit all these sins to you. In this name we pray, amen and amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Ephesians 5, verse 15 to 16. It says, Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Guys, the title of our devotion for this evening is Spiritual Driving. I don't remember many specifics about my driver's education class. But for some reason, an acronym he we learn, SIPD or S I P D E, remains firmly lodged in my memory. The letter the letter stood for S scan, I for identity, P predict, D decide, and E execute. A process we were taught to practice continually. We're to scan. The road, identify the hazard, predict what the hazard might do, decide how it responds, and then, if necessary, execute the plan. It was a strategy for being intentional 
to avoid accident. I wonder how the idea might translate to our spiritual lives in Ephesians 5. Paul told Ephesians believer, Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise but wise. Paul knew certain hazards could derail the vision, old ways of living at odds with new, with their new life in Jesus. So he instructed the growing church to pay attention. The words translated, be very careful then how you live, literally mean see how you walk. In other words, look around, notice hazard, and avoid personal pitfalls like drunkenness and wild living. Instead, Apostle Paul, instead, Apostle Paul said, we can seek to learn God's will for our lives, while with fellow believers, we sing to and give Him thanks. No matter what hazard we face, and even when we stumble, we cannot experience our new life in Christ as we grow in dependence on His boundless power and grace. Yes, guys, no, we can experience our new life in Christ with boundless experience and power and grace. Amen. Yes, guys, no, let's li really be very careful at this time. Uso -uso ang kidnapping ngayon, Gabi, no? If you notice the, uh, the Facebook, Gabi talaga yung mga kidnapping, kidnapping ngayon. I do not know what's the purpose, but that's why, let's be very careful then how we live, no? Not as unwise, but wise. Mga sakuna, bagyo, lindol, no? Mga aksidente, mas ka ano-ano na lang. Andiyan pa rin yung COVID, ni pa rin nawala. Kaya let's be very careful talaga, guys. Kung alam natin na Hindi pwede, huwag na lang natin pilitin. No? Huwag na natin pilitin kasi uh, it will come back to us. Kaya if we have done wrong, then we also have to ask forgiveness to that somebody or the most to Jesus and even ask forgiveness to ourselves for doing such thing. Kaya as we drive our life, no? may God, no, or may we be guided by God to scan, identify, predict, decide, and execute things the better way or God's way. I right, guess let's now proceed to the two question. What strategy do you use to recognize what might trip you up spiritually? Parang dito ako kukuha ngayon, no? Doon ako sa identify and predict. Kasi wala akong strategy na nagamit, at least, no? Because of this devotional, may natutunan ako na i-apply ko sa sarili ko, no? I have to identify and predict what is in the situation. Or, the predict, discern what's ahead of me. Okay, second question. What role do you think other believers play in identifying and resisting spiritual hazards prior Nare-rebuke nila yung ibang situation, lalong-lalo na yung mga ano, yung mga masasabang situation. Ako, I also do the same. Nare-rebuke ko yan, no? Because God has given us the power, no? Uh, so, yun. Then, tatlo pa lang question, guys. How might Thanksgiving be an important part of avoiding spiritual pitfall? Yes, kasi, uh, ano, God is so happy na papasalmata natin siya. No? Guys, di ba, sinabi ko sa inyo na nawala ako ng trabaho but uh, yes, very dark talaga yung buhay ko for how many months ata or weeks, no? But at this time, nakikita ko na yung uh, sunshine na nag-re-rain. Praise God! An answered prayer na makabalik ako sa work. Praise God talaga. That's why in any situation, we have to bring back all the glories and honor and praises to God. I guess let's now pray. Heavenly Father, as we navigate the spiritual path holes on life, life's road, thank you for reminding us to look up to you for help. Amen and amen. Guys, di ba, sa pag-drive natin sa buhay natin, nakada nakadaan tayo sa mga, mga lubak-lubak, no? So, we know where the lubak is. 
Uh, let's try to familiarize kung saan yung mga may lubak-lubak. At huwag na natin daanan nyo. Let's move on. Okay guys, God bless us all because I know God will surely bless us 10 times better. This is again, it's TV. Kita-kita tayo mulit hanggang sa muli. Paalam!